Maybe you want to let a professional step in. <laughs> Hi, YouTube. Or better yet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just like embarrassing oh, no. myself live on stream. 50 people watching me. Like this is literally half my videos. This is like, th this is the editing process. This is how I film. Like it's just me like fucking up like four times in a row. <sighs> Ooh, what's up guys? Welcome back. Uh, another... Wait, 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 wait. Start that again, start that again. Go again, go again, go again. <laughs> Yo, what's up, guys? So, welcome back. Uh, this time we have the one and only Chris Morell. Uh, he came first place at Irish Nationals using what I could call a Testalas Turbo deck. Uh, let us go into the deck profile. Uh, so, we see uh, three Aether, uh, three Erebus, uh, one Goraz, <laughs> one, three of the little light person thing, uh, one red layer for that turbo factor, uh, two little Thestalos and one big Thestalos. <laughs> Interesting card choices. Uh, going further into the deck, we see the spells of three domain. Uh, three pantheism, uh, three return, three uh, tenacity, three stormforth, uh, three twin twister. Uh, this deck seems to be building itself. Uh, three <laughs> upstart, uh, three uh, two escalation, uh, three prime. And then onto the side deck. Uh, what appears to be an interesting card choice with the artifact engine being cited. Ah, very cool, very good. Uh, one uh, morale attack, uh, one scythe, uh, one majesty's fiend for the cosmo, because you don't want to play Yu-Gi-Oh on that matchup. <laughs> no. uh, two maxi, uh, one regeki, three system down, because they really do not like that cosmo matchup. Okay, uh, going in... Uh, we have three Artifact Sanctum for the two targets, uh, okay, uh, and <laughs> lastly, three, okay. three, three Solemn Strikes. Uh, okay guys, uh, this has been Chris Morell's first place Irish deck profile. Uh, give it a like, don't forget to subscribe, make a comment, do whatever you want. Uh, Lithium signing out. <laughs> okay, so that was uh, Lithium's doppelganger reading out the decklist for you, so... I'll, uh, I'll... <laughs> I'm so dead. Oh my god. <laughs> so I'll, 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 I'll read out Please Chris. Please tell uh... me you're going to upload that version. What? Please tell me you're going to upload that Yeah, yeah, of course, version. of course. I'm going to export it before I go to bed. Okay, so uh, yes. I'll read out Chris's reasoning. So he says, um, that's my deck list from first place, Kilkenny Regionals, Ireland. I thought the main deck was great. I wouldn't make any changes. I feel the Thunder Vessel was better than the others due to the, its ability to summon a token to your opponent's side of the field, which is really powerful versus the BA matchup. Summoning both Thesta losses in one turn is also a good power play. I would take out the Fiend in one system down at the side deck for one Maxi and one Battle Fader as they wasn't needed in the side deck. If you could also shout out my team, Team TBC Ireland and link the page that would be awesome okay cool so i'll leave that in the description for you guys to check out so check out team tbc ireland uh just click on that down below just really recapping really quickly for those of you who are like fucking stupid and can't seem to understand how this deck works uh basically how this deck works is um you <laughs> you summon mitra right <laughs> don't forget to subscribe by the way don't forget to subscribe right <laughs> I'm a nice person. So uh, what you do is you summon Mithra turn one and you you know somehow get to return or get to one of each Thestalos basically or Erebus. So you summon Mithra, tribute summon uh, over Thestalos or big Thestalos or Erebus with domain etc etc uh, and then you loop their hand for one and then you can tribute over that tribute summoned monster again with a different Thestalos or Erebus depending on what you did the first time uh, and then you can hand loop them again and then you can, because of course, as you guys are may or may not be aware, when Mithra is tribute, uh, tributed uh, for a tribute summon, you can tribute summon again that turn. Uh, and that's why he's playing double escalation here, because then again on the opponent's standby phase, he can, sorry, not standby phase, obviously, uh, when they pretty much do anything, he can chain another escalation and hand loop them again with a different Destalos. So that's why he's playing like... I, I'm curious to know why he didn't play more Thestalos, honestly, like, I feel like he probably should have played, like, two and two. Just because, like, you can search baby Thestalos, add big one, and then summon big Thestalos and search the baby one, and then you'd be able to, like, loop them four to three times? Like, just during their opening play? So, yeah. And, you know, of course you lock them down on their domain. So, um, yeah, this is uh, pretty much how it works. You, you just, like, loop them, like, three times or something like that. Because, uh, you know, there's no point in playing Yu-Gi-Oh when you can just, like, stop them from playing Yu-Gi-Oh kind of thing. 
and yeah that, that's kind of how this the state works so as i said uh remember to check them out on facebook and stuff uh and thanks of course to my co-host here uh lithium i don't even know what we call you lithium 2199 instead of 2300 sure. yeah yeah sure so yeah thanks guys for watching uh comment like subscribe as usual and i'll see you next time yeah okay great we've done our